Mets. They're going to win 90 games, or 89 like they have in the last couple of years. But you're going to win 90 games. The guy's going to save, the best closer save around 40. Yeah, I know k Rod had 60-something this year, but the best guy's going to file 40. So there's another 50 opportunities to close out games. Plus, if you take away all the blown saves you have, so you have about 110 opportunities to win the game. Some of those are going to be blowouts, yeah, so those don't count. But why not have two closers and just keep playing with the hot hand or the matchups or who's tired and who's not and go to a two-closer system? Why not go get K-Rod and maybe Fuentes and maybe Hoffman or even Bobby Jenks or something like that and have two closers? Or why not? Why do the guys only have to close in the ninth inning? Why can't they close in the seventh inning and the eighth inning and the ninth inning and have different closers for each inning? Why not close out the innings? Instead of closing out games, have them close out innings. You know, if they get too tired, that's why you have the two closers set up. So I'm just curious on why, if your bullpen is so bad, and after being a Met fan for these last couple of years and seeing what the bullpen does, why not just go get quality guys? And I'm sick of these guys saying, well, I'm a closer and I can't pitch the eighth inning, and, you know, we've had too much time off and all this crap. You know, like, give me a break. Or oh, it's a four-point, that's uh, a four-run four, four run lead, and, you know, we can't, uh, I can't get my mind straight. You know, that kind of crap bothers me, and I, I'm just, I want the Met fans right now. It's kind of disappointing uh, what's going on. You hear all the news from all these other teams with rumors and who they're going after. Right now, it seems like the, the only thing the Mets are talking about is either K-Rod or Bust. Um, and, you know, who else, where they're going to go, where they're going to go. But I don't know. So I'm getting kind of frustrated as a Mets fan. But you know what? <laughs> Two years after being a Mets fan, the way I have been, as if you look at the last 12 years as a Mets fan, the chokes we've been through, uh, the disappointments that we've gone through, it, what's another offseason where they, they figure out a way to screw everything up? So hopefully they do the right thing and get K-Rod. Okay, he is the best available closer. He had the best season for a closer last year, uh, statistically. So why not go get him? Spend the freaking money. You have it. We're spending the money going to City, uh, City Park and all that crap. So why don't you go out there and spend the money where it needs to be spent? And you know what? If it doesn't work out next year, you spend the money again. And I don't care because you're asking us to pay for uh, our seats every year, even after you guys crap and shit the bit. You know what I mean? So go out there and make the right moves or else you guys are going to be done with me again. And I know I've said this how many times. I've done this show almost two years, and I've been done with the Mets at least 50 times. So one more time, I'll add to the list. Do something right. Do it. Make me happy. and Give me an early birthday present. And that's where we'll move from there. Now, we have a couple questions that I want to go over. Uh, since we're doing a three-segment show, I guess we have about four or five minutes. Four or four minutes. All right, we'll get into the first question, and uh, we'll, answer, uh, we'll try to answer it, and then we'll just continue it into the second segment if we have to. Okay, well, the first question we have is from Pat Y. This is from Facebook. He asks, I got a fantasy game for football. I have four running backs, but only three can play. I have Leon Washington, Thomas Jones, Chris Johnson, and Joseph Adai. Which three should I play? Okay, and the reason I picked this question to come onto the show about was, it's a typical question I get, okay, in the sense that there's one of the guys... Is a special teamer, and you get this with Hester, you get this a lot of times with receivers, but even when the running back situation, you got someone like Leon Washington, and he's going up against Tennessee, who's like the worst uh, at kickoff return coverage, that kind of thing. Oh, should I start this guy? You know, it, it, in a situation where you should start a guy like that, it should be in a situation where there's an injury or a guy's in a bye week. But when you've got all four, when you've got your starters in and guys that you drafted and went out and got, and, and they're healthy and they've got, you know, matchups that especially in a situation like this where Leon Washington is on the same team as one of the guys. Um, you know, you go with the starters. You go with the best players. You don't go with the – I mean, you know, I gave this guy a pat. I, I, I told him if he went and picked Leon Washington and it worked out for him, he'd have my respect for making such a gutsy play. But it's just, to me, it's way too risky, especially this late in the year where teams are pretty solid and everyone's got their full – you know, full squad going. Chris Johnson, you, you got to start him. I know it's a jet defense, but you can't start two. If, to me, it's if you're, if you're going to start Leon Washington, it's got to be either him or Thomas Jones. You got to go with a die. He's a top flight running back. Um, and Chris Johnson, you got to go with because you're not going to have Leon Washington and Thomas Jones. It's just, it's just too risky. It may work out, and I get this a lot of times where, hey, you know, the advice you gave me kind of didn't work out. It doesn't happen as much as, obviously, the advice I, I give that's positive. But, you know, when it doesn't work out, it's, I'm not saying I told you, you know, I told you to do this, and then you went and did it, and now it didn't work. The thing is, I'm trying to tell you what the best. I'm playing this, uh, the trend. I'm playing the the, the probability of who's going to have a better, you know, better game, and who's more likely to put up the numbers occasionally. It's going to happen where the guy I tell you to sit down, or the guy that I'm not for, is going to do well, and that leads me into. Um, you know, uh, something I, I got to mention about Kurt Warner, which is I think in um, the uh, the next question we're going to get, uh, I think it's, oh, no, 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 I got that. Uh, yeah, go ahead with the second question. We'll get to the Kurt Warner thing, but it's going to lead me into that. But I would not start Tom Leon Washington, even though he could have a big game, he could. It's like a, 
it's like a 10% chance that he'll have a good game, whereas Thomas Jones having a good game is about a 50% shot. So that's where you got to play the odds. And I, I think Leon Washington is way too much of a risk. Go ahead. All right, the second question is from Mikey I. This is from Facebook. He asks, who should I start this week? Brian Westbrook versus the Ravens, Warwick Dunn versus the Detroit Lions, Randy Moss versus the Miami Dolphins, or Teller Owens versus the 49ers. Can you pick three? Hmm. All right, you definitely, everyone knows I love the running backs. I'm going to go with Westbrook versus the Ravens. I don't care how good the Ravens' D is. Westbrook is the go-to guy. He's the main cog in that offense, so he's a must-start. Now, you definitely, you got to start three of these guys. Yeah, I, I guess we're done versus the Lions with Ernest Graham going down. That is the big news of the week. Uh, people are picking up Warren Dunn like crazy, Cadillac Williams like crazy. Um, these are, this is a great matchup versus the Lions, so you might get a one and done, literally, with uh, Warwick Dunn. Get him in this week. I think it's a good shot. I think it's a nice, risky play, but it's got pretty big dividends that I can see happening with the versus the Lions. I don't see how the Lions are going to be able to stop uh, Tampa Bay, and I think Tampa Bay is going to roll on them. So I like Warwick Dunn to have a big game this week. So I would go the two running backs there, and then I would pick between a wide receiver. That's just how I do things. Uh, like you guys, if you're loyal listeners to the show, you know I always lean towards the running backs, and it, it is the best strategy. And time and time again, I can say I told you so when it comes down to running backs. But I would definitely take the shot. I would definitely go Westbrook, and then Randy Moss versus the Dolphins, or Terrell Owens versus the 49ers. I think, based on, okay, it, this is a tough one. This is a real tough one. But this is what I'm going to say Randy Moss versus the Dolphins. They've got a pretty good cover guy. I think it's an inter interdivision rival. I think they know Moss very well. I think they've played them already, so they know what's up. I think they can put a plan together for Moss, and Moss hasn't had great numbers, and he is the focus on most defenses. So I would stay away from Moss when it's going up against Terrell Owens because Terrell Owens versus the 49ers is old team. You know, the 49ers, they don't know Dallas as well. The 49ers are not a good team. It's not inter, it's not an individual matchup. So I like T.O. versus the 49ers there. So I would go T.O. versus the 49ers and Westbrook versus the Ravens. And then, you know, if you really want to take a shot at having a big week, I go with work done. If you want to be safe, go with Randy Moss. So it depends on how you feel, Mike. Yeah, and I know you, you're probably going to go with work done versus the Lions. But, uh, and, and that's why I would go. Uh, but either way, you can't be really wrong. But you won't be looked at as wrong for picking either one. It's just a matter of your strategy. If you want to be safe or you want to really um, take a shot at you know big points. So work done is the big point guy. Randy Moss is the safe pick. And I think we only got about a minute left. That's it. All right. So what we'll do is um, we'll, we'll finish off. We got two more questions. We got one, um, two more questions to go here in this. Uh, and so we'll take it over in the second segment. We'll just go to commercial now. And uh, when we get back, we'll go over those last two questions and then go into the weekly picks. <laughs> 